Hey everybody, welcome to the Shadow of Dexel Development blog, I'm Etza, and this week I have been kind of working on chat boxes, experimenting with different things. I haven't been very successful. Here's kind of what I've got right now. I'm kind of trying to make a regular style text box again. I did a lot of experimentation with chat bubbles and it just wasn't working out. I even had the hook moving around, but the top-down perspective doesn't really suit speech bubbles very well. Like, it just looked wrong. Now, if the game was in 3D, like actual Paper Mario would be, the characters would be actually kind of standing up, and the speech bubble would look better, but it just doesn't work. So I kind of want to make a stylized text box like this. I'm not sure if I should use a nameplate or not. That's kind of maybe up to you guys. If I should, I don't think I should use a face on there, because I'm going to have their mouth moving, but I might put a name on there. I might not. Now, one of the things I'm having a little bit of an issue with, which isn't really that big of a deal, I'll figure it out eventually, is having their mouth move when they're talking. And I kind of wanted to set it up so that when you're talking to somebody, their mouth or their head, you know, moves to show that they're talking. But I wanted it to stop when the text was done typing out. So it would do like the animation of them talking and then it would stop. I might do it so it's just like a small loop and then it goes back to normal. But because of the way that I did the text boxes, it's not really hooked up to the characters specifically. So it's kind of tricky to figure that out. I'm going to get it, but it's going to take me a minute. Now, other than that, I have everything set up so I can stream development of Shadow of Dexel now. So sometime during the week, I might actually start doing streams of me working on the game. So you can see the development screen of the actual Game Maker Studio too. And then uh, whenever I launch the game to test it out, you could see that as well. So this week I might be doing some Shadow of Dexel development streams. So feel free to come in and hang out. I got the chat all set up and everything else that I might need. So maybe I can get some motivation and support that way. Or just have people hang out so I don't get bored or something like that. But it has been a couple weeks of almost no progress. A lot of the stuff that I was doing was just experimentating with art. You know, stuff that doesn't actually progress the game any farther. Like every so often I'd spend like half an hour to an hour drawing a new text box or trying some new things. Like I said, I had the hooks working where the hook would move based on like, you know, where the character was. I had it set at the same point on the speech bubble and then it would change X values to match whichever N NPC was talking. But it just looked unnatural even when it worked flawlessly. So... I didn't want to do that, so I'm thinking somewhere along this point of this text box, maybe adding some kind of cool designs to the edge, or if you guys think I should do a different shape. I think I like this. I like the regular RPG look. Um, I'm probably gonna do it so how I was trying to do it with the old Shadow of Dexel, where if it was at the top, if you were at the higher part of the screen, the text box would be at the bottom, and vice versa. Um, how do you guys feel about the size, like the tallness of the text box? Should it be bigger, smaller, like this? Um, keep in mind that if you're talking to Wick right here, I would normally have the text box on the bottom because I don't want to cover up the sprites. That's kind of the important thing. If anything, the text box might more often be on the bottom than the top, but I'm just kind of getting things set up. And you won't be able to move. But my goal is not, not to cover up the sprites when they're talking. I kind of like the look of the purple and the gray. I think it looks pretty good. Other than that, I might put a nameplate, redesign the edges of the text box. I'm kind of rambling now, but that's kind of my goal. Also, you won't be able to move when you're talking to people. But like I said, their heads are going to be moving when they talk. And I wanted to make it so that they stop when they're done talking. And I had it kind of working with Mona. She's the only one that has a mouth movement right now. So, that's a thing. So... Anyways, I will see you guys next week. Hopefully, in between there, I'll do some development, um, development streams. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.